Welcome back to my channel, my crystal kings and queens. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my Enhydro crystal collection. Now it's not complete as of yet. However, I do have my final Enhydro crystal on the way, but by the time it would have gotten here, this video would have been long awaited for and well overdue. And I didn't want to have you all waiting that long for this. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out to you now. And plus I have a few extra moments before I have to get back to my homework. Um, my college semester had just started and it has been a very interesting beginning. So I want to do this while I have time and it's also been a good four or five days since I posted last anyway. So that's a no-go you already know. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so we're gonna start with my absolute most favorite in hydro crystal in my in hydro crystal collection, my smoky fenster. So let's go ahead and just jump on in. As you can already see, the first two bubbles are extremely visible. The first one's right here. This is a stationary bubble, so it doesn't move anywhere. And then the second one here, this actually moves, though it doesn't have much room to maneuver. It just, you know, has the up and down movement or motion. And then on to this side, the next bubble is actually just right here, right there. You know, it might be a little hard to see, but if you can kind of make it out, it's just right there. And then there are two other ones which are actually dinag diagonal. Yeah, that's funny. Diagonal to one another. So one bubble is actually right here. If you can see that some, so right there. And then the next one is just right up underneath it, right here, which is a little bigger than this one so it's right here and they're diagonal to each other so that's five bubbles already this crystal has about 10 bubbles in it but the other bubbles they're so small that it's just so hard to catch you know without a magnifying glass or you know something that you're able to just you know enhance the visual of each crystal I'm sorry of each bubble in the crystal so I wish I could show you more oh you can see that bubble now a lot better that's on the front of my crystal so yeah I wish I could show you all the really small ones but they're so hard oh my god did y'all see that it was just right up here let me see if I can make you do it again Oh no, that's a bubble up there. That's what I wanted to show you all, but like now wants to be shy. Just did all of that and now you don't want to move? Hold on, let's, let's turn it over. Maybe I'll do it again. All right, so like watch right up here in this area. Okay, or not. Dang, that would've been a, there it goes. Did y'all see? It went down here, and now it's gonna go back up. Look, it's trying to move. There it is. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That's so funny. I have so much fun watching my bubbles. It makes no sense. I love that. And then it travels all over again. Right there. And it just does it again when I move it. Bam. <laughs> that's so funny I love that okay so y'all got to see at least one of the tinier of the bubbles one of the tiny bubbles in my um, crystal so that was fun next we have my Tibetan quartz so this has a few different bubbles in it and I love it but they are just as well hard to pinpoint oh my god see and it's one over here that's just going nuts right oh my god can y'all see it it's going nuts oh my gosh okay well now it doesn't want to move 
and then here's another one just starting to do its own thing did y'all see that right here this bubble right there let me see so yeah it moves back and forth and it goes all the way down here i'm not sure how i can there it goes this is so hard and it could be fun but it's like a little in hydro bubble treasure hunt look at that. it just it moves how it wants to move there it is I wonder if it'll go any further. Guess not. Get a clear visual. There it is right there. Bam, now there it is. That's so fun, I love that. Okay, let me see if I can find the bubble that was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over here. I don't even think I've ever tried that cereal. It always smells really good. Like um, hot cocoa, but I don't think I've ever had it. Okay, so I can't really find that crystal. I mean, that bubble that was doing its own thing over here, but it actually is right here. There it is. It's right there. Not sure if you can really tell, but it's over there. Um, there were a few other bubbles in here, but I can't find them. Gosh. Well, anyway, that was up. Oh, did y'all see that? It moved up. Did y'all see that? Oh my gosh. That's fun. That's so fun. Okay, I'm not gonna give too much time to it. Y'all know I can. This is a Finster. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even look through this before I picked it up, but there is a bubble in here and it's really, really small. Okay, so I have located it but you might, well, there you go. You can actually see it. It is a sediment bubble. There were a few other names for it, but I forget. But either way, um, this has sediment and water in it, so it actually does move. It's just kind of hard to, there it is. Y'all see it trying to go just a little far? Doesn't do too much, but I guess what it does do is enough maybe. There it goes, just back and forth it goes. Not too far, but it has a little motion. Um, I'm sorry y'all, I'm like, I'm trying to keep the crystal in the camera, but like I'm looking at my crystal over the camera. So <laughs> my crystal ends up all the way over here as opposed to where it actually needs to be. But yep, that's the bubble right there. Ew, got hair on my pencil so yeah that's the bubble right there but it just doesn't move too far i wish it did oh now we can't see it look at there all right so we're not gonna play with this because y'all know like i said in my previous video in my what's in my bag video i can do this all day trying to find each and every bubble and unfortunately because the crisp oh my god did y'all see that look so here's a bubble right here right as i'm talking like i'm so sorry y'all like right as i'm talking bubble right here i don't know if y'all can really tell that that's a bubble but it looks like one to me it is one i mean because i just saw it move but look y'all see that now it's over there and now it's here there, here. <laughs> I am having too much fun with this. Okay, so I guess as I was about to shut that down, show me something straight. Um, there's also a really huge bubble right here that's in the dead center of, I don't, I shouldn't use that word dead. No, I don't like that. That's in the very center of um, the crystal, so. Yep, there you go, if you can see it. It's like a huge water bubble right there where my finger is behind it. Like, there it is. So awesome. That unfortunately does not move though. I wish it did, that'd be really cool. But that's okay. So yeah. For my next Finster, there are a few different bubbles in here as well. But the two that I'm looking for are 
right here one which actually moves surprisingly because I hadn't noticed that until just now and then the second one is right here don't know if you can really tell it doesn't really look like a bubble right now there we go now it looks like a bubble so that's the bubble right there and then this is where did it, oh there it is there there it goes <laughs> there it goes right there so this one moves minimally but it's not really doing it right now kind of but not really but yep that's the second one so there's two that I'm able to visibly see right now yep one two but I have not been able to find any other ones within this one but this is the back of it if you were wondering which I absolutely love it's so weird looking but it reminded me um, this whole crystal right here reminded me of a Herkimer diamond and I have one of the most gorgeous Herkimer diamonds I don't even think I've ever shown you all and I probably should but it looks like a bubble back there, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, so that's the Finster. Oh, it looks like one's right there, too. I'm going to have to check. Yep. Yep, there is one. I'm going to have to check this out. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Uh, Tibetan in Hydro Quartz which is, oh well, the bubble is actually right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we don't have to go far. I think this is honestly the only bubble this crystal has. It kind of moves, but not too much, though it does have enough room. Hmm. Guess it doesn't want to do anything, but there it is right there. I feel like I saw something kind of fly through my crystal, but I'm not even sure. Oh, I think it's just sediment moving. Or it might be a bubble. I don't even know. I feel like I just saw something move. Like in this area here. But I don't know. Could be wrong. Okay, well. Needless to say. There we have it, my Brandberg in Hydro Quartz. And the bubble is so small, but it's right here. This is one of my newer crystals and I love it. This bubble actually moves, but I don't know if you can really tell. Like, oh, maybe y'all can see something. I don't know. Oh my goodness, looks like that moved right there so there is that the same bubble or no nah? like I don't even know I felt like that was a different bubble just then sorry y'all like I'm over here surprising myself this is just crazy but it has a few bubbles in here too so there's one right there and then of course there's this bubble right here and um, there's like some really, really tiny ones all around. There's, looks like one, mm, my camera's getting a little blurry. One up there, right here. And yeah, I think that's about it. Well, I don't think that's about it. I think that's just all that I can actually see visually. And yeah, as I said, this is one of my newer ones. And I love this. So pretty. This was pretty darn expensive, y'all. But I think it was well worth it. Oh, y'all see the bubble moving? It moves from side to side. Okay, that's what it was. It moves from side to side. And then it's one directly behind it. Right there, if y'all can see.